Hello everyone and welcome back to Clinical Cousins YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over compensatory and non-compensatory pauses as they relate to our EKG rhythm strips. So as we see here, I've drawn a normal rhythm strip with normal or regular R to R intervals and I've drawn a little heart with a SA node and two abnormal pacemaker bundles. So first we're going to go over the compensatory pause, which means that the abnormal pacemaker bundle has fired an impulse, but it has not reached our SA node, which means that our SA node will be unaffected or even unaware that this is going on. So let us say that we have a rhythm where a premature atrial contraction has occurred. We see that the P to P interval is shortened and it is not a part of the regular rhythm. So we know that this is the location of our PAC. Also, I've drawn it in a different color, so you may have been clued in already. Also, notice how the P wave has a different morphology. This is another clue because it tells us that the pacemaker bundle is not in the same location as the SA node. So, now that we have determined our premature atrial contraction, we will learn that if this is a compensatory pause, we need to look at the normal complex the abnormal complex, and then the next normal complex. If we have a compensatory pause, it means that the ectopic impulse has not made its way to the SA node pacemaker, which means that the SA node will keep depolarizing on beat as if nothing has even happened. Basically, with a compensatory pause, the SA node is not even aware that something has happened, so it will keep firing on beat. So what does this mean? It means that when we look at our rhythm, the normal complex will occur, then the premature, and then we will have a compensatory pause before the next beat, which is still in line with our regular rhythm. So notice that it'll be the same interval. It will occur at the same time because this ectopic pulse has not depolarized our pacemaker cell. So in simple terms, it means that the abnormal beat has not altered the underlying rhythm, meaning that the SA node has not been affected. So remember, compensatory cannot change the clock of the SA node. So what do we have here? We have our normal interval and we see that our abnormal beat occurs, but because it cannot change the clock of the SA node, meaning that our interval remains the same after the abnormal beat, our beats will keep on firing. So now, this will make more sense when we look at the non-compensatory pause, which occurs after the abnormal beat has reached and depolarized our SA node. This means that a new rhythm will occur after the abnormal beat. So look at this example. We have a normal beat, and a normal beat, and then we have an abnormal beat, which leads to a new and shorter rhythm. So this pacemaker has fired an impulse, the same as this one, except this one has reached the SA node and caused an early depolarization, meaning that it has reset the SA node clock. And now the SA node will have to fill up its phase four depolarization before it can depolarize again. This means that we will have a new normal complex that is less than two P to P intervals. Remember, if this was compensatory, it would fire around this time. So now you're going to say, but Christian, I thought because it was the SA node and the SA node was reset that it would take longer to fill up. Pay attention closely. If we have a premature abnormal pacemaker that has depolarized the SA node here, it means that the, at this exact moment, the SA node starts to fill up again. Whereas in our compensatory pause, it means that the SA node fills up at its normal time. So if this is the exact moment when our normal and our compensatory SA node are full, this is when the abnormal or the non-compensatory SA node will be full. Why? Because this was depolarized earlier, meaning that it has filled up faster. So therefore, after this abnormal beat, we will have a new rhythm that is generated 
by our SA node because it will be out of sync with the other rhythm. Notice how we have a rhythm here that is normal in the normal and compensatory rhythms, but with our non-compensatory pause, we have depolarized sooner because our SA node has been reached, which means that we will have a normal rhythm after this, but it'll be less than two P to P intervals. So what have we learned here today? A compensatory pause means that the abnormal impulse has not reached the SA node, and therefore the SA node is unaware and it will continue to fire on beat or with the same P to P interval. And a non-compensatory pause means that the abnormal impulse has reached the SA node and depolarized it. Therefore, the SA node has been reset and a new rhythm will occur after the abnormal beat. As always, thank you for taking the time to learn with us today and remember to like and subscribe for more content.